Hi, I'm Brad McDonald, and this is my Shark HD I purchased in 2014 when I retired from the Army. I want to talk a little bit about uh, this wonderful machine and the great mistakes I've made. Um, a little bit about, uh, we'll talk about bits. Some people, they go to buy their eighth inch bits, but they don't realize a lot of these are European bits or six millimeter and it's not an eighth inch. So I encourage them to go buy the correct fitting to go, like in this case, this is a muscle chuck. I've got a half inch to work with in there. And if they don't have the correct fitting, their, their bit is gonna fall out. With bits falling out, mistakes happen. In my case, not too long ago, well, actually over a year ago, my bit wasn't in there securely. I checked for secure, Securedness every time now. The bit fell. I admit, I walked back in the house. The whole place in here was filled with smoke. I went all the way through this and into the bed, carving out a portion of the bed about this size. Also, when securing, I, I normally use the clamps, but I switched to the, uh, the waste board and putting screws in there. A mistake I made just a couple days ago. I have inch thick wood. I used an inch and a quarter inch screws into MTF. It didn't hold securely. In the case, it came up a little bit and the carb went bad. I switched to an inch and a half inch screws. It stayed secure and everything came out good. Today, I'm working on an 18 inch carb and that should come out pretty good when I'm done. The next mistake I made and it made me go to the internet and start flipping through the pages to read on feed rates because I had the problem before this thing digging in way too much I wasted a beautiful piece of wood although I've made some mistakes I've always corrected them I love this machine and with the new piece I have down here I hope to make some more great projects thanks for watching come on into my shop and I'll show you what's going on Right here is a project I, uh, I just finished. It's a, a cabinet for a soldier. And uh, I used a, uh, like a stippling carb on quarter inch wood there. And I created uh, these, uh, this other stuff right here to give the soldier cabinet. I'm not gonna open it because it has a lot of personal information in there. The, what I'm working on here is an urn. I uh, made this piece before and it's small, so I want to create an 18 inch urn. Right now I'm doing a rough cut to do that. Um, I found out during this card that after I was done doing the rough cut, I had to zero it again. I couldn't zero in on this project. Right here is where I had the datum set to. So I moved over, re-zeroed here, Press the zero zero on the uh, computer here, and it went back to the exact position where it should be in X Y, and the Z is zeroed out to what the edge was, what it was in the center before too, and started to carve and still carves out perfectly well when I use the round of the bit. Right now I've got a feed rate about 80 inches a minute. I got a quarter inch bit in there. And um, I've been reluctant to go faster in different cases because I've made mistakes in the past. So I'm gonna stick with this. Uh, my case here is just a homemade jobby. I can open up the ends to put bigger pieces in. And I really love this thing. This thing has been a, a great asset to my woodworking. And I really love it. Thanks, next week.